Uh, yeah, I'm Steve Longershek, and I'm the uh, release manager for Ubuntu. <laughs> um, some people might not be familiar with what it, what steps it takes to release something like an entire operating system out to users. Can you talk in kind of a 10,000 foot view exactly what you do, generally speaking, throughout a release cycle? Oh, well, um, throughout the release cycle, a lot of uh, my day-to-day -day work is tracking the bugs that have been indicated to us by community members and by developers that they're serious bugs that need to be resolved for release. Um, so trying to keep a handle on those bugs, make sure that we are, we're putting resources in the right place to make sure that those bugs are resolved in time for release, uh, as well as um, deciding what, what is or is not feasible to uh, be fixed for a release based on available resources. Those are the kinds of things that take up most of my day-to-day -day work. And then once we get to the point of a release, uh, yeah, it's a, you know, a good 72-hour stretch with no real sleep involved, which is uh, uh, quite exciting and, and draining. That uh, rolling out the CD images, getting all the user feedback that confirms that they're working, and uh, pushing it out the door, and, and uh, having a good hooray and, and crashing for a few hours of sleep. <laughs> Can you talk about what criteria you go through in your head when you're deciding whether a fix should be put into Ubuntu like right before release or during release or when you're going through this process? Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about updates that are towards the end of the release cycle and we're, say for instance, we're past the feature freeze or we're past the, uh, if, if we're in the final freeze for the release, uh, the real criteria are has this is this new totally new code? Is it is it something that's been tested by other people before? Um, have, is it coming from upstream developers who know the code and know that we're talking about a good fix? Um, do do we understand the scope of the changes that we're making? Um, do we have a, a rollback plan in some cases uh, if it's a if it's a border case on the fixes? And um, well, the severity of the bug certainly plays into that. If it's a huge user-affecting issue, we certainly want to do everything we can to make sure that gets in, but we also have to weigh that against the, the complexity of the changes that we're making because it is a process of, of incremental stabilization where we do have to decide as we get closer and closer to the, to the edge where our trade-off is between the risk of making a change versus the, the severity of the bug that's affecting users. Okay. Um, for the last LTS, for Dapper, we had a point release. Um, it was 6.06.1. .06 and this time, uh, we're doing point releases again. Can you tell us uh, what users can expect uh, about these point releases and what the general overview is of those? Mm -hmm. Well, we haven't gone into too much detail yet um, on point releases beyond point one as far as if there are particular targets that we have in mind for those. Uh, certainly for dot one, we're trying to to clean up anything that might have been a little rough in the initial 8.04. Um, there's always there are, there are always bugs that need to be fixed um, in any software product, and we try to identify the ones that are the most serious user affecting ones, which we were not able to fix in time for 8.04, either due to uh, lack of uh, developer resources at that time or due to the bugs being identified late in the cycle or possibly after the release. Um, we are also uh, making sure that we, we have the best hardware support possible and we are identifying some uh, hardware cases that were not supported and making sure we get those fixed where it's just it's spit and polish, smoothing the rough edges and uh, just making sure that for an LTS, our long-term supported release is the best, the best platform possible. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you.